Hello, my name is Graham Selig. I'm the proprietor of Saber Environmental Property Services. We are pest controllers based in Watford, Hertfordshire. We are there for all your pest control needs. We all have heard the old rhyme, night, night, sleep tight, don't let the big bugs bite. Big bugs were very common in England, um, well, Great Britain in general, uh, back in the 1920s, 1930s, when this rhyme came about. So what does it mean? Well, good nights sleep tight, what does that mean? People used to go to bed wrapped in clothing to avoid being bitten by the bed bugs. That's how bad the problem was. And now, in the 21st century, we have a resurgence of bed bugs. They've made a big comeback on every continent in the world, except for, Ant for Antarctica. What is the reason for it? One reason may be the withdrawal of DDT insecticides, the increase in air travel, large-scale immigration and emigration, and multiple occupancy housing. Bed bugs feed on human blood. They may crawl up to 50 meters to find a human host to feed on. Most occurrences of bed bugs happen through travel. People travel in places, the bed bugs are great hitchhikers, they get into the luggage, they, they bring them home and you have an infestation uh, in your property. Um, a female bed bug will, will lay between three and five eggs per day and, and so we say it can quickly cause you large problems in, in, in your property. Bed bugs are probably the, one of the hardest um, insects to treat by an amateur, but we'll have a go and, and see if we can um, help you with the problem. Do you have bed bugs? How, how do you know? We need our trusty friend, the torch. We examine minutely the bed for the bed bugs themselves, eggs, um, shed skins, the bed bugs grow by shedding their skin, um, and also blood spotting. It's when the, uh, the bed bug excretes a surplus amount of blood from its body after it's fed, and then it will hide in a little dark crack. So we found we have bed bugs. How do we treat it? The first thing to do is minutely examine and remove every bed bug that we find. The second thing to do is to vacuum clean thoroughly all, all, the whole bedroom. We need to dismantle and examine the bedside furniture. The headboard needs to come down from the wall if it's fixed and check behind. We spray with a residual spray anywhere that we believe a bed bug may be hiding. So any nook, uh, crevice, is treated with a residual spray. This is double-sided tape. It's very useful in the control of bed bugs. You can wrap it around the leg of the bed. Any bed bug that tries to come and bite in the night will stick on this. We have um, bed bug monitors. Again, they pro they're produce an artificial harbourage for bed bugs. They're just literally corrugated paper. The bed bugs enter. We can find them, we can kill them, or we can dispose of the, the whole monitor itself. The other use we, we have for double-sided tape is one can make a perimeter around the bed with double-sided tape. This is not very good if you have pets or very young children that will walk on it so that they will pull it up again. But if there's only adults present and you remember not to tread on it, this is another good way of creating a cordon sanitaire around your bed so that bed bugs cannot enter. Professional will treat the mattress with um, special insecticides that are passed for the mattress. Bedding needs to be washed 
at 60 degrees Celsius. Um, quilts need to be tumble dried hot to kill the bed bugs. Dry cleaning will kill the bed bugs in every stage, either the, the, the nymph, the adult bug itself, or eggs. Well, I hope what I've explained to you um, does help with the bed bug problem. If it doesn't affect a cure, this is probably one pest when it's best to get a con professional controller to come in. Um, they have the expertise and the, the equipment to finish the job. Right. Good luck with your bed bugs.